experiments using uh, magnetic resonance techniques. We have performed at CBPF in Rio de Janeiro, uh, right here, near, also near the beach. Everybody is showing uh, the beach, so I also show my beach here. <laughs> Uh, this is the outline of the talk, okay? We want to talk about uh, magnetic resonance experiments uh, on quantum thermodynamics. Uh, first, I will talk a little bit about the liquid state NMR, okay? Uh, I will show how the experiments are performed. Uh, with this system, we have performed uh, many uh, proof of principle tests. For example, uh, observing work distribution, entropy generation, uh, observation of the fluctuation theorem, theorems and Landau principle and we also we have also have performed some uh, quantum thermal machines, okay? And this I, I will call this as the our first first generation experiments, okay? Uh, second I will talk a little bit about uh, uh, experiments on solid states, okay? Uh, with this system, we are looking for uh, uh, a system, okay, that you can study thermalization, equilibration, okay. You can study how the qubit can thermalize or can equilibrate uh, with a bath, okay. And I show here that you have uh, a nice system that you can serve as a controllable bath, okay. So you can uh, control the interaction between the we can control, we can modulate the interaction between the qubit and the bath. You can also modulate the interaction uh, among the qubits uh, in the bath. Okay? So this may be a, a nice system to study this kind of uh, to study thermalization. And then I, was, I, want, I also want to talk about some applications. Okay? want to discuss if uh, it's possible to apply these ideas in real problems, okay, in, in real problems. And in this part, I will talk a little bit about quantum thermometry using NMR, okay. Uh, so in liquid state, we have uh, different from other type of setups, for example, optical setups and ion uh, ion traps or superconducting. In LMR, we work with an example of qubits, okay? We have, for example, a uh, uh, liquid, okay? A small uh, amount of liquid with many molecules. And each molecule does not interact to the other molecules, okay? So, <coughs> these molecules uh, are uh, isolate systems, okay? So this is an example of molecules. One, the one of the simple, most simple molecules that you can work is this one, is the chloroform. Okay? You have uh, two qubits here. You have the nucleus spin of the carbon and the nucleus spin of hydrogen. This is a system of two qubit system. Okay? And we put this on a magnetic field. This system has four levels, which you can manipulate using uh, RF pulse. Okay? Also different from uh, ion traps and superconducting. Here we perform the experiments at room temperature. Okay, uh, at room temperature, the uh, the thermal energy is much much larger than magnetic energy. Okay, so the system is not on the pure state. The system is on the thermal equilibrium state, okay? Because the, the thermal energy is much, much larger than the magnetic energy, so we can approximate this, the, the state, the, the density matter of the system, like this, okay? You can do this approximation here. So we have the first part, uh, this first term here, that's proportional to the identity uh, state. So this corresponds to a maximally mixed state, okay? And we have a small portion here that's in the state whole one, okay? The first part here 
we cannot see in the NMR experiments. Okay? So this first part here doesn't matter for us. All the only thing that matters is the second part. Okay? So what so when you start the experiment, when you pick up the the sample and put on the magnetic field, okay, you have this state here. Okay. What you can do is to okay. You can use uh, RF pulses and gradient uh, uh, pulses and also can do average, okay, to manipulate the the populations of the system, okay, to the population here. So we can we can apply some uh, sequence of uh, of operations. So we can manipulate system from here to here, okay. We can go from this configuration to this configuration here. This configuration here corresponds to this density matrix. Okay? And this is also identity that you cannot observe in the NMR experiment. And a small fraction of the spins on the states on the ground state zero zero. Okay? So this is invisible for NMR and this is the part that uh, that matters because it's the only part that you can see. So, if this doesn't doesn't matter, you cannot see this. Okay, only this part uh, uh, is it. Is, uh, you can only see this part here. Okay, the system behaves as a pure state. Okay, the system is in the total in the mixed state. Okay, but since you cannot see the first part, the system behaves as a pure state. Okay, because you can only see the pure part of the density matrix. Okay, um, well, well, and this kind of system is called sealed pure state. Okay, and every type of uh, quantum information, uh, uh, almost every every type of quantum information experiments using NMR are performed on this type of state. Okay, so controlling populations. Okay, so. We have a general state like this for LMR, okay? okay? So control the population, you can, you can manipulate whole one as we want, okay? So one thing you, you can do is put, is create whole one like that, okay? So it's equivalent to an uh, example, okay? Uh, with temperature e t equals zero, okay? But we can also manipulate the uh, the, the the system, okay? So whole one is like that, okay? So it is equivalent to a system with a temperature inf with infinite temperature, okay? But we can also manipulate the system, okay, to create a a, a Boltzmann distribution as I want, okay? I can create a Boltzmann I can create a distribution equivalent to a Boltzmann di distribution with the temperature that I, I want, okay? And I can also create a uh, Boltzmann distribution if uh, which is equivalent to a, a negative temperature, okay? And uh, in the time scale uh, much shorter than the light Hirschel time we usually call this T1. Okay, this this distribution will remain like that. Okay, so you have a tool here to create a Boltzmann distribution if the temperature as I want. Okay, it survive for some period of time, and during this period I can I can perform the experiment I want. Okay, uh, using these ideas, for example, we have. Um who have uh, performed this experiment, it was the first experiment we observed the work uh, uh, distribution and then also we observed the fluctuation theorems. This was performed with Roberto Serra and uh, Mauro Paternostro. Okay. Um, so the idea is to implement this uh, circuit here to measure the characteristic function and from that obtain the the 
uh, work distribution, okay? So, to implement this, we need the auxiliary uh, system in the state 00, zero and the system here in some, uh, uh, and the system here initializing in some uh, equilibrium state, okay? So, what you, what you have done here, use the chloroform sample, one qubit, for example, the carbon is initialized in some uh, Boltzmann distribution. I can initialize uh, the system <coughs> with the Boltzmann distribution that I want. And the second system is initializing in this uh, state here. And with that, you can perform uh, the circuit and measure the characteristic function, okay? Uh, with the same experiment, okay? Ah, okay. Let me see. Okay. Um, okay. And also, uh, in this experiment here, we start with uh, system, okay? In some equilibrium state, we have to perform some operation, okay? For the <coughs> to drive the system from uh, the equilibrium state for to another state, okay? And this. Uh, uh, Operation, uh, this branch is performed uh, applying magnetic fields. Okay, you can apply uh, modulated magnetic fields. Okay, that you can uh, that you drive the system uh, uh, in different ways. Okay, and usually in MR you can get usually a very high uh, uh, fidelity. Okay, the control on the MR system is very precise. So the two basic things uh, to perform the experiment is the ability, okay, create these states, and the ability to implement uh, a very uh, precise uh, uh, Hamiltonians using uh, modulated magnetic fields, okay. Well, uh, this I show again the the that paper with uh, Roberto and Mauro. We <coughs> use this uh, setup to observe the like uh, work distribution and and flotation theorems for the uh, quantum regime. Okay, uh, we have also uh, uh, observe uh, uh, different things. Uh, a second thing that we have performed is. Uh, is this experiment he here that you can observe the uh, uh, entropy generation? Okay, this was performed with uh, uh, Mauro and also Eric Lutz. Okay, and the idea is the same that you uh, because you have the ability, okay, to implement uh, any uh, initial uh, uh, thermostates and the ability to to drive the system very precise, you can. We have also able to uh, to observe uh, the entropy generation in nuclear space systems. Okay. Um, well, e and also have performed different uh, experiments uh, uh, during this time. We don't have time to 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 go in details of each experiment, but we have uh, a lot of them. Someone publish. Uh, others are uh, in the archive still, and to uh, these are performed with uh, Mal, uh, with Serra, Eric Lutz, and also Lucas. Uh, we have an experiment with Lucas here. Okay, you have performed many experiments with this kind of system. Uh, okay, uh, this is the things we have done in uh, using liquid, liquid states. Okay. Uh, by now, we want to go further, and what we want here is to look for a system, okay, that can be used to study thermalization in the controlled way, so okay? So we want something like that. So you have uh, a qubit here, okay, and coupled to a bath of uh, spins, okay? This can be performed, this kind of system, you can find this kind of system in solid state NMR. For example, this sample here is called a Damantan, a very simple sample uh, uh, in NMR. We have uh, carbons here, okay, 
the black balls are carbons and the white balls are hydrogens, okay? All the hydrogens are couple, uh, are dipolar, you have dipolar couplings between the hydrogens, the Hamiltonian of uh, hydrogen is given by this Hamiltonian here, and okay, for us, uh, the hydrogen will be the bath, okay, and the carbons will be the qubits, okay, and the carbon and the hydrogen are coupled uh, according to this Hamiltonian here, this will be our, si our uh, um, system environment interaction, okay, and what happens is that this, because we have only uh, operators here in that direction, okay, this Hamiltonian here uh, induces the phase into the carbon. Okay, if you if you excite the carbons, okay, and you see the signal uh, uh, as function of time, the signal disappear because the the carbons are interacting with the bath and lose coherence. Okay, the hydrogen here uh, introduce uh, this uh, dephasing in carbon, okay? But uh, I can modulate the cis environment interaction so that the, the hydrogen does not induce the phase anymore, but uh, they induce thermalization, okay? This can be done applying a, a pulse sequence, okay? You have a carbon, hydrogen, I can apply a sequence of RF pulse, okay, here, so that the total evolution here is equivalent to this evolution here when this H here is some effective Hamiltonian, okay? I can apply a specific uh, pulse sequence so, t so that the this uh, effective Hamiltonian here will be given by that, okay? This is approximation, this is valid, when this uh, delta t is very small, okay? So, when I do this, I modulate the system environment interaction, okay? And now, the Hamiltonian, uh, the coupling Hamiltonian between the qubits and the environment, you not only have that uh, uh, spin operation in that direction, but also you have spin operation on uh, y and x. This should be x here, okay? Um, x uh, direction. So this Hamiltonian here, okay, will cause the you cause uh, you thermalize the the carbons, okay. The carbons now you thermalize uh, with the hydrogen, okay. Uh, this is uh, experiment, okay. You see the thermalization of the carbon, the carbon, the natural uh, thermalization of the carbon without applying the the sequence, okay. Uh, so we can see here that the time scale here is seconds, okay? It thermalizes in more or less in eight seconds, okay? But when we apply that sequence here, okay? When we apply that sequence here, okay? The, this thermalization curve changes, okay? This means that the carbon now is not thermalizing with his natural uh, bath, okay? But now he is thermalizing with the hydrogen bath, okay? And the hydrogen bath, okay, because the hydrogen uh, nucleus means that I can also control, okay? So this bath here will be a bath that I have some degree of control because I can modulate, I can apply different uh, uh, pool sequence here. I can also create different Hamiltonians. I can also... Uh, uh, decouple the spins uh, inside the bath, okay, I can increase the 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 coupling, the, the coupling strength of the spin inside the bath, I can I can uh, uh, decrease the the, the the interaction between spins uh, uh, inside the bath, so I can do many things, and also some things that I can do is to is to do spectroscopy, uh, do uh, some experiments uh, in the hydrogen, and I also can observe some uh, 
uh, properties of the hydrogen, okay? Doing some uh, uh, a standard uh, solid state standard matter, I can also do, I can also observe some properties of the hydrogen. So I, I have here I have a system that you can, uh, you can, you have a system that you, you have a qubit coupled to the bath, but you also have some uh, um, uh, control in the bath, okay? And another interesting thing that you have done is also here we apply some uh, the same sequence here so that the carbon thermalize with the hydrogen, but uh, but here we invert the population of the hydrogen. Okay, so if you invert the population of the hydrogen, what happens if you start uh, uh, with the carbon spins up, for example? Uh, now it thermalizes to the states down, okay? So what we have here I is that the system, okay, is uh, thermalizing with uh, bath with negative temperature, okay? Here we apply the six here to simulate the, the thermalization, but uh, the hydrogen here are in the in the normal uh, Boltzmann distribution. Okay, if I invert the population, the hydrogen will be in the Boltzmann distribution equivalent to a negative uh, temperature. Okay, and it, it stays there uh, for some time, for a time much l much uh, shorter than the um, hybridization time. Okay, and if that you can, for example, uh, see. Uh, a, sp a spin, okay, the carbon thermalizing with a negative temperature bath. That's the, the idea. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, just three minutes, huh? Okay. And the, the last thing I want to discuss here is how to uh, apply these uh, ideas on quantum thermodynamics or, or quantum thermometers uh, in real problems. Uh, this is a scheme of uh, quantum thermometer, okay, uh, given this paper here. So the idea is that, for example, you have a, a source of qubits, okay, you can, super you can put the qubits in a superposition. Is the idea is that the one uh, path of the superposition will interact with the path, and here you can see the you should be able to uh, measure the temperature of the bath, measuring the interference between the two patterns. Okay, in Andamar, you can do something similar like that. For example, if you put a spin one half in a magnetic field, have the two levels. Okay, uh, usually what we do is start with, for example, in the state zero, apply a pulse. So the spin go, the spin in, in z direction go to uh, x direction, for example, okay? And because we have a magnetic field applied, the spin starts to process around the magnetic field. And if you have a coin near the sample, we can measure the, uh, um, the vo voltage, uh, Okay, but the voltage in the, the coin here, you have the NMR signal, okay? And if you perform a, a fast Fourier transform, you have the spectra, okay? And the spectra depends on the phase of the qubit here, okay? If the phase is zero, you have a spectra like that, okay? If the phase is pi over four, you have like that, and you have uh, this one here. So, uh, this is the uh, NMR equivalent of the interference pattern, okay? And the idea to perform a, a thermometer is uh, because in the experiments, okay, the local field that the spin can, uh, the spin, the local field that the spin is feeling in the, in the experiments uh, can also depend on temperature, okay? So if you have a good uh, sensor to measure the, this procession here or to measure uh, the phase here, 
we have also sensor to 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 measure the temperature okay so idea is to use uh, molecules like that okay so we can we can uh, create a entangled state like that okay and use a uh, um, quantum metrology protocols to measure the magnetic fields, measure phi, but since the magnetic field is related to temperature, we also have a thermometer. Okay? Uh, so we don't, oh, don't have uh, more time, I will just show. Uh, no? Okay. Oops. <laughs> I'll just show the, the final results. Okay? This is the this is the Fourier transform, okay, of our signal as as the temperature grows, okay. You have measured the uh, a shift on magnetic field, okay, and if you plot the magnetic field, the shift on magnetic fields, if the if the temperature, you have a, a line here that define a thermometer, okay, and this is paper is on archive, okay. And um, it's frozen now. I <laughs> in principle, I have infinite time, <laughs> but uh <laughs> but since I don't have infinite time, so this is the 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 people uh, involved, okay, with experiments in CBPF, and you have many collaborators in Brazil and and worldwide that you have uh, uh, perform. Uh, Different experiments you in quantum thermodynamics and the other things also. So that's it. So thank you very much. Thanks, Alexander, for the very interesting talk. Um, questions?